Also, can I just say, don't fetishize biracial couples. Me and Zen are biracial couple. Don't fucking fetishize that shit. I'm a bird, mother. I'm a bird. Disney Star Wars actor speaks out and demands the actor season two after Vogue failure gets cancelled. Despite the nearly $200 million budget and a massive marketing campaign from Disney, the Acolyte was the biggest failure we've ever seen for Disney Star Wars. And in the aftermath of it being canceled, we've seen some of the viewers of the show, the handful of people who actually watched and liked the Acolyte, rage against Disney because they made the only decision they could regarding this show to cancel it. No season two for Leslie Headland and the cast and crew of the Acolyte. And of course, people have wanted to know no how the cast and crew feel about mm -hmm. this from the actor who played master soul speaking out about the cancellation to so i don't i don't follow them and i don't really check twitter that often so i have no idea if all of them were complaining about it online i only know that the main actress she was going on a massive rampage completely insulting everyone completely insulting the entirety of star wars base that's crazy it was so unreal just watching it how she was literally insulting the fans of star wars like how do you expect people will want to even support you like you just shat and pissed on them to Leslie Headland's wife deciding to hop on the bandwagon and blame racism and bigotry for why the series got canceled. And of course, Amanda Stenberg. It absolutely had nothing to do with it. It had nothing to do with racism. It had nothing to do with bigotry. Like, are we forgetting Fallout? The show that's literally hitting huge numbers? The fact that they have the balls to say it's racism and yada 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 when other shows are literally proving no it ain't. Mm -hmm. Your show is just bad. It's just crazy to me. Like have some self-reflection. Oh damn. The funny thing, old canon, old Star Wars canon has better colored characters and better female characters but Disney somehow managed to F it up. From whatever they took exactly I, I i don't know anything about star wars like i'm 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 a i'm a i'm a tourist but even i would know an established ip like star wars definitely had colored like a diverse crew back back in the day in the comics and books and they're probably millions of times better than what disney pumps out oh i'm gonna say is stargate you guys want to see the cast? It's diverse. <laughs> this is an old ass TV show too, by the way. We were already doing all of that. And this show lasted for so many years. It's a great show. It was cringe, but it was greatly cringe. <laughs> Just make it good. Just make it good. Have actual character based on like their backstory and everything, like, not based on the skin color or like. Uh, diversity is not the problem. The product being bad is the problem. Berg, the lead star herself, spoke out just a few days ago on Instagram. Again, didn't address the fact that no one actually watched this pile of shit, but essentially said that I wasn't surprised that it got canceled because of all those hateful people out there. No ownership, no accountability, and no mention of the fact that this series was the least viewed live action Disney Star Wars project they've ever had. But apparently, there's at least one star of the Acolyte who is not giving up hope for the Acolyte Season 2. Star Wars, the Acolyte star, hasn't given up hope on a Season 2 renewal. And this comes from the person who played Chimere. Manny just So first of all, for people who didn't know, this role first was offered to Keanu Reeves. And Keanu Reeves basically went, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, if Keanu Reeves turned it down, you know something was something was stirring for sure.
Sinto's comment about the Acolyte Season 2 will break Star Wars fans' hearts. No, it, it really won't. It might break Collider readers' hearts, uh, but it's not going to break the hearts of actual Star Wars fans. Manny Jacinto at Dragon Con over the weekend was asked a question about what dreams, what goals do you kind of have going forward, you know, with the rest of your life? Manny Jacinto, apparently, uh, one of the, his life goals is to get Acolyte Season 2 done. Manny Jacinto, when asked about a goal he hopes to achieve in the future. Season 2. Uh, a goal of mine? To achieve? Yeah. Something else that you want to make sure you do before you leave this mortal coil. Season 2 of the Acolyte. Who the hell are cheering? Oh, white people. Two black people. <laughs> Yo! There's your modern audience. That's your modern audience, lads. There it is. We got them. They're all in this booth right here. No wonder no one had time to play Dustborn. In all seriousness, this actor does seem humble. He did seem uncomfortable re responding to that question. And, I mean, come on. Is he supposed to dog on the show when he's being asked that on this panel? He, he's not going to be stupid about it. Yeah, he still wants to be hired after the show for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's like a specific etiquette you have to abide when you're in the work sphere. Season 2 of the Acolyte. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy was laughing. He was like, oh, God. <laughs> Nah, not really a surprise that people that are there to see Manny Jacinto yep. specifically would also like to see his season two. Very unfortunately for Manny Jacinto and anyone who wants to see Acolyte season two, there's a big problem with that. The reason that there is no Acolyte season two isn't because Disney didn't want to do it. It isn't because Lucasfilm just wanted to listen to YouTubers. That's why they canceled the show. No, the reason that there's no the Acolyte money. season two. It mm. literally doesn't generate any money. And this is not a charity case. This is literally how business is rad. If something that you invest money into doesn't generate a return and an influx in finances that justifies to make it again and make money off of it, there is no reason and no point. No company will freaking do a season two is because nobody fucking watched the first season. The Acolyte stands melt down and blame racist, sexist people after the show's reportedly scrapped. Viewership data was abysmal. This was, by a big margin, the least watched Star Wars show that we've ever seen on Disney+. Plus. And that would be one thing if the data indicated that despite opening poorly, that, you know, maybe there was more interest in the show as it went on and kind of crescendo towards the finale. Something like Andor had that. Andor did not have impressive viewership numbers in the beginning, but it gained viewership over time as more people came to like the show and tell people about the show. The Acolyte did the exact opposite. The Acolyte fell off a cliff. It started off... Yeah, it had... The lowest numbers of the season finale. Mm -hmm. If people don't even want to see how the show ends, what are we even talking about? Don't they get uh, most money from merch? The merch didn't sell either. It didn't. They removed it off the store because they couldn't even justify keeping it. Off with poor viewership and it just got worse after that and with the reaction we saw that that shouldn't really be a surprise that the people that did tune in the people that did give the acolyte a chance despite what they may or may not have thought going into it they didn't like it when they actually watched the show they did not like the series that's why it has been canceled and so manny jacinto maybe he's one of the sixty-four thousand people that have signed the petition to renew the acolyte Unfortunately, that is not enough to really make an impact. Now, this is Lucasfilm. This is Disney Star Wars. I said, you know, weeks before it was canceled, after the finale, I said, I'm 50-50 on whether this thing gets a season two because no one in their right mind should give this show a season two. It was completely and totally rejected by the fan base. The viewership was abysmal. It cost way too much money. There should not be a season two. Mm -hmm. But... With what we've seen from Lucasfilm, the poor decisions that go on at Disney that oftentimes seem to have a lot more to do with identity politics and pushing an agenda than they do with the actual bottom line. I'm sorry, just for... What? 
That's a Wookiee. It, it, it looks like a mountain grandpa. That was a fucking tree. A Wookiee. Bro, why? Sorry. It wouldn't Oof. have surprised me if they decided to renew the Acolyte anyway. Well, Manny Jacinto, not giving up hope. He still wants to play Chimere. He still wants to have this the shipping stuff with him and Osha, the enemy. Well, to be fair, I didn't see him being like, yes, it has to happen. It absolutely has to happen. He was just like, I don't know. He was put in the spot. He gave an answer. It was spicy shipping. Yeah, this is something I did not understand either. People who were trying to defend uh, Star Wars Acolyte. i seen a lot of people tweet. Oh, people just cannot handle the relationship, the spicy relationship between a black woman and an Asian guy. It's like, bro, oh, what the fuck are you on? What the hell are you talking about? Are you like completely tripping now? No one can be this delusional enemies to lovers all the cringe shit that made the acolyte crowd go crazy the pronouns in bios crowd the trans flags in their profile all of this stuff right those people they love the show unfortunately star wars fans and the vast majority of people out there they despised it not good enough for a season two but one person at least is not giving up hope. Seems like Amanda Stenberg was very resigned to the fact that the acolyte was done. She didn't go out there and give anybody fucking hope. Manny Jacinto he says he still wants to get it done. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna say that it's not necessarily just people with the pronoun stuff in their bio and the flags. It's, it's just... The show did not perform because it was done very poorly. The writing was very poorly. From what I've seen in the pictures, the costume was costumes looked pretty bad. It's just a bad show, bad investment. Uh, who the hell uh, watches Star Wars for shipping? Who watches Disney Plus for spicy interracial? Yeah, I don't know. People are weird. People, people who say like say, "Oh wow, you guys are different because y'all are different races." Like, kind of cringe. And I gotta yeah. lie, it's like, bro, what are you talking about? We're just both humans. Calm yourselves. Also, can I just say, don't fetishize biracial couples. Me and Zen are a biracial couple. Don't fucking fetishize that shit.